Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. February. This is for Cancer, and the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get you and the other person. You choose a side. Which side is yours? It's funny because in the Scorpio reading, you know, we, I got some people that commented, it's reversed. <laughs> Well, that's why there's two sides. You pick a side. You pick a side. So let's just see what we got. Uh, what do we have for cancer in regards to them and somebody that they are dealing with? I feel like there's somebody that is very overwhelmed because I just see the Ten of Wands. They have a lot of demands. Maybe there's too many responsibilities. You're not able to, for some of you, you're just, you're very overwhelmed. You're doing too much. You got too much going on. Maybe your relationship is suffering because of it. Is somebody, oh, I just saw the Seven of Wands before I said it. I was just going to say, I see the Seven of Wands too, which is challenging. Uh, this is definitely overwhelmed, warmed down. There's some setbacks. Um, somebody may be stepping down, admitting their defeat, whether it's you or another person feeling powerless. This could be a fall from power. Okay. Now it could be you or the other person. This is feeling powerless. You could be dealing with some slander. Um, you know, this is, uh, being in some sort of, uh, situation where you've needed to guard yourself and maybe you're just ready to walk away. You don't want to fight about it anymore. Now this could be you or somebody else. There's, there's been some sort of competition. Ooh, two sevens right off the bat. Now, there's somebody getting caught. Somebody had, may have been lying. They may have been cheating, not telling the truth. Um, things are, uh, something is falling apart. Somebody has been lying, and they're going to, the truth is going to come out. Ooh, in regards to a partnership, there's somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They haven't been being honest about a partnership. There could be a split that is coming up. Okay, this person doesn't want to be in the relationship. Maybe they've been cheating. Um, there's a disconnection here. Somebody's not in it for the long haul. They may There could be a third-party situation. Okay, there's a third-party situation here. Somebody is working with somebody else. They haven't been telling the truth. Okay, somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They've been communicating, going back and forth, and they've been getting away with it. Um... Mm, there's a lack of commitment here. We have somebody here that doesn't really want to be in a commitment. There could be some legal issues that are coming up. Somebody um, has been looking outside of the commitment. They've been looking outside of the relationship. They definitely have been communicating with somebody else. This person over here is feeling defeated. Feeling defeated. Uh, ready to quit. Ready to get out of this. Um, definitely feeling overwhelmed. There could be an ex that is in the picture. This person is bitter, getting colder and colder and colder. They probably know they're being lied to. Somebody is getting pissed, okay? So this is this is a this person is malicious on this side. We have somebody here that is not happy at all. Maybe seeking revenge, okay? Um Ten of Pentacles. This could be somebody that you have lived with before. We have somebody here that um is nasty. This woman is nasty. Um, may have lived in the home before. This person could be jealous. So we have a jealous individual here that could be causing problems. Over here, uh, there's some sort of disconnection. There could be a divorce that is coming. But reluctant to move on. Reluctant to take a new approach. Staying in a relationship just because you know, just because it's somebody to have, but not in love. So this person is not in love. They won't move on because of the commitment portion of it. So they're cheating. They're cheating. They're looking outside the relationship. They don't want to be in the relationship, but they can't move on for that be for it because somebody fills some sort of void. There is an X here. Um, the person over here is bitter and probably getting pissed over the X. Wanting to have their cake and eat it too. We have somebody here that is very arrogant. Um, missing an opportunity. Not seeing. We have somebody here not seeing that there's an opportunity for happiness. There's, they're not seeing there's an opportunity for happiness because of there's an ex that is still in the picture. Or there's another woman, there's another person that is causing problems. 
Um, there is an obstacle that is being removed though. Some lie. This is lies being exposed and this is lies being exposed. So I think we have somebody over here that knows and they're, they're just really getting pissed. They're getting pissed that they're being lied to. They know they're being lied to. Um, there could be a change in the home. There could be uh, a feeling of sadness because I feel like this person over here is sad and they're re getting colder and colder and colder because they know that whoever they're dealing with isn't really into them because this person isn't really into them. It's like you know it, you know it, but it's feeling, uh, staying in this situation because it's comfortable. So somebody is in a situation just because it's comfortable. It's, it's comfortable, but it's not comfortable because deep down you know that this person is looking for somebody else. Um, this person over here, maybe... Uh, oh, there's definitely some lies here. There's cheating going on. There's deception. Big time deception. I feel like this person over here is having a hard time moving on from their ex, moving on from somebody that they were, they were committed to, but they're no longer with this person. This right here is, is feeling very, this person on this side is feeling very overwhelmed, feeling powerless. Maybe feeling paranoid. This person is maybe feeling paranoid about this person over here because they got this sinking feeling inside that the person that they are dealing with is in love with somebody else. This person is communicating with somebody different. They are. They definitely are. They are working with somebody else. And I feel like this person knows it. They know it. Um... There could be some harsh words that are said. This person may say something because, and they could, it could, you know, they could do, you know, like have some drinks and get drunk and, you know, then, then the truth gets spoken. It's spoken. It's harsh. It's bitter and it changes a situation at home. Somebody, you know, it may cause somebody to, to really break free from this situation that is that they've been trapped in. Somebody has been trapped in their own mind, not wanting to see the truth, not wanting to accept the truth, not wanting to believe the truth, staying in a uh, rough situation, very, very rough, hoping that this person would love them, hoping that this person, hoping that this person would love them. It's like, we, are you ever going to love me? Are you ever going to change? Are you ever going to get over that person? So this person is, is like over here and it's like they're getting pissed and, and, and feeling bitter inside because the person that they are holding on to is, is in love with somebody else and they know it, but they can't let go of that person because they're hoping and praying that this person is going to change their mind and want to build a home with them. You know, th they're ho this person is hoping that this person is going to uh, be able to stop having feelings for the other person. Um, this person over here is is wanting to move forward with somebody else. They have their eyes on somebody else. They are... Um, they got this new exciting opportunity. They may be even having sex with somebody else. I see a third. This per, we have a, somebody over here that is um, not committed to the person that they are uh, publicly committed to. It's like publicly they're committed to this person, but they're not. You know what I'm saying? I think we have somebody over here that has a new, has their eye on somebody new and they may, they're communicating. They may be having sex with this person. They're, they could be cheating with this person. They're definitely communicating with somebody else, but they're not willing to move on from the commitment that they're in because it's, you know, I don't know, publicly acceptable. So cancer, I feel like in February, uh, you may be broken free from somebody and it may cause bitterness. It co may cause uh, you to feel vindictive. It may cause you to feel powerless. I feel like there's going to be a change in the living circumstances because somebody isn't happy. They're not 
It's like they're not seeing what you have to offer. They're just not giving you, they're not giving you the attention that you deserve. Vice, and this could go vice versa. Somebody's not getting the love that they deserve because the person that they are dealing with isn't really in it. They're not really committed to the relationship. And I think that they're communicating with somebody outside of the relationship. Okay? Yeah, there's somebody else. You, you, somebody is dealing with another person that has somebody else and they are deeply attracted to this person and I do think that there is sexual interactions here if you are single and you are watching this I you know I feel like you if you're single and you are watching this I feel like you may have this new exciting opportunity that comes into your life out of the blue it's like the universe is bringing two people together that are meant to be together and it may be tough it may be tough. I think there's a lot of seduction here. There's a lot of interaction. I think there's uh, two people that are working together behind the scenes and it's being hidden. I do think it's being hidden. I think this is an attraction that is unstoppable and there's really nothing that you can do about it. Um, Somebody has an unexpected choice in love, and it's like they can't stop themselves from going in that direction. Um, it's definitely a magnetic attraction that is is definitely meant to be. I think this is a soulmate connection right here. We have two soulmates that are coming together, and it's and we have this person over here that is being broken free. This person is being broken free from a situation that they were in ignoring. It's like they didn't want to believe that this person was breaking away. They didn't want to believe it. They didn't want to see it. They didn't want to know it. They didn't, they wanted to live in, you know, denial. They wanted to live in denial, but you can't live in denial when the fact is, is that this person is going with somebody else. So I think there's an unexpected choice in love for somebody over here that is, you know, probably maybe this person has just gotten out of a commitment or they're getting out of a relationship and they're choosing the other person okay this is a choice somebody is choosing the other person they're they are they are because it's like and i feel like the other person that they are choosing is not really their usual type but they can't the attraction is so big there's some sort of magnetic pull between these two people it's like you can't stop what it this soulmate connection it's meant to be. So I feel like um there's falling in love or there's love here. There is love. It's like you can't you can't hide from love. You can't hide from this attraction. So I think that there is a soulmate connection that is coming into play between two people that are meant to be together. But I do feel like we have somebody here that is losing their power. They're losing their stance. They're, they're being forced to give up. They're being forced to accept the truth that whoever they were dealing with is going in another direction. Um... We do have a soulmate connection here. Two people are coming together that are meant to be together at this time. Um, it could You could be dealing with a Gemini. The person that you are dealing with could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, there's just, it's just that these two people are meant to be together. It's all there is to it. So I feel like there's going to be a change in the living circumstances that happens and it causes somebody to get really pissed off. Somebody's going to get really pissed off that they were taken advantage of. And it's like, yeah, I can't, I can't, there's nothing you can do. It's out of your hands. There's really nothing you can do. This is divinely guided. So there's a divinely guided partnership that is coming into play here and somebody is going their own way. Okay, this is this is a time out. It's going by yourself to uh, re-examine who you are. It's 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 finding your own identity again. So we do have somebody, whether it's you or the other person, that is is being. It's basically being shut out. They're being uh, sent packing because there's somebody else, and that is what I see. I see a change in circumstances and it happens very unexpectedly. So be prepared in February for an unexpected love to change a family or a home situation or a relationship status. Okay. There is some sort of, uh, 
new love connection that changes the circumstances. And this is brand new love. It's not somebody, it's not somebody that you expected at all. This is very unexpected. These are, these are two kindred spirits. This is a perfect union. This is a soulmate contract with two people that have shared values. So we have two people that are coming together that are meant to be together. And I feel like the person over here um, is not going to be happy that the person that they had their eyes on, that they were holding on to, um, has united or is uniting with the one. And it's undeniable. There's an undeniable uh, spark here. There's an undeniable attraction. This is an undeniable union. It's, And it happens very suddenly. So if you are single, if you're single and you're watching this, you will probably meet somebody out of the blue suddenly that you have an instant attraction to. This is not what you ever thought would happen. And all of a sudden you're falling in love. You're falling in love with this person. You weren't looking for a commitment and all of a sudden here it is. We could also have a person over here. I just, I just saw it this way. We could have a, we could have a woman that is hard to love. This woman is hard to love. She's bitter. She's been hurt really, really badly. She's been hoping and praying for love. She's been hoping and praying for love. She's been hoping and praying for a commitment. Here it is. Your prayers have been answered. So that could certainly be the case because this is a bitter woman who has been hurt really, 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 really badly. She has. She she doesn't trust anybody. She doesn't trust anybody because everybody in her life has let her down. And she's been hoping and praying the Nine of Cups for love. Waiting for it. And she's been trapped and she's been fearful and she's been alone. She's been waiting for somebody to come to the rescue. Here it is. So, this could be the end of loneliness. It could go so many ways. We could go all day. Cancer, I feel as though there is a union that is coming into play. That is meant to be. And it's very unexpected. Be prepared to... Either you're either you're the communicator or somebody's going to be communicating with you. There's going to be messages going back and forth. Things are going to happen fast. Good luck.